Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one question that came today, and um, we talk about updates all the time, Windows updates for you know the operating system and updates for the browser. And the question that came today is: Is there anything else that needs to be updated that, um, except you know, apart from these two that you always mention? Well, technically, any software you have on your PC needs to be updated. Technically, they all probably contain some form of uh, security flaw or sometimes just for bug fixes, but everything that you install needs to be updated. Now, what is the update frequency depends on the software, how popular it is, and so on. Also, the other thing is, um, you know, there are things that are part of Windows and things that are not part of Windows, and that's also is where you have to make a separation. Technically, when you have Windows updates, the updates are for pretty much everything within Windows itself. But if you have third-party software installed that you, you know, is not part of Windows, then that third-party software, that other software, whatever the purpose of it, whatever it does, will probably get updates from time to time. For example, I've got my screen recorder that I use to do these videos. Well, this screen recorder will have fixes. Sometimes it's you know um, updates for security. Sometimes it's updates just for bug fixes. And of course, there's new versions all the time. So you follow these updates. Uh, if you have a, a browser that's not part of Windows, usually like Firefox, Chrome, uh, and so on, they have, of course, updates. Um, if you have installed other types of software, Adobe software for all sorts of things, um, any anything that is not part of Windows. Well, you should check from time to time if there are up updates for these software because the updates are for everything that is on your PC. Some, like I said, might not update very frequently, some very frequently. As for a lot of apps that are in Windows, the updates also come through the Microsoft Store. This is another part, another place where uh, updates will come. Often if you look at the library to see what apps you have installed, the library will give you uh, a list of apps that have been updated. And you'll see that there are updates that, you know, for example, here there's an update for the Microsoft PC Manager that I've been trying and so on. And you see all the updates that have been applied to the different software that's already pre-installed. Microsoft Office, if you use that, will of course have updates also and so on. So um, you just need to make a difference between what's with Windows and what's not. And it's pretty easy in general in a clean install. Anything you install extra is not part of Windows and has its own security f updates and bug fixes from time to time. So the, the security is a whole, you know, it's like the whole thing needs to be updated, whatever software you have. That's why Having, you know, uh, cracked software, for example, is a bad idea because the software isn't updated, updatable most of the time because it's a pirated software. So it puts you at risk. So anything that is illegal puts you at risk all the time um, and so on. So um, make sure that you, you know, check what you use and, if, um, and check from time to time if they have updates for the software. Like I said, sometimes it's security, sometimes it's bug fixes. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.